This is Ngozi, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a very special paper airplane called the Hammer. Now this paper airplane is one of the fastest and one of the longest flying paper airplanes that I have ever seen. Now to make this paper airplane, all you need is a piece of blank printer paper and a pencil. Now a pencil is optional, but this is something that I recommend because it helps you to make very strong hard creases which is very important for this airplane. So, to start off, the first step that you need to do is you take the right side of the paper airplane, the top right side, and you fold it down. You fold it down to the left side until you get an arrow right here, like that. And it's straight all the way across the paper lines up like that. So then you want to take your finger and move out to the middle and then take your two fingers and put them there and then go out like so. Now this is where I bring in the pencil and I just go over the creases like this because it helps to make the creases nice and hard so that the paper airplane can be straight. Now you unfold it and then you take the left side and you do the same thing that you did to the right side. You take it and fold it down to the right side. Make sure it's straight all the way across like that. And then you push out to the middle, then go out from there. Now I'll take the pencil and go over the crease. Then you unfold it. And now what you do is you take the right side and fold it to this crease that you made here. The crease that you made when you folded the right side down. You fold it to where it meets that crease. The edge of the paper meets that crease. And then you make a crease here. Then you go over it with the pencil. Then you do the same thing to the left side. Make sure it lines up. And then you fold it down. I'm going to take the pencil and go over it here. Now what you do is you take the top side and you fold it all the way down to the bottom. Like this. You fold it all the way down to the bottom. Then you push up with your finger to meet it in the middle. Then you fold out. Now I'm going to go over this one with the crease. And also go over these creases right here. So that you can make sure that that stays straight because that's important in the next folds. Now you take the right side and you fold it to this X crease that has been made right here. You fold the right side to, the, to where this point matches up to the X. Then you fold it down. Now you take the left side and you do the same thing that you did to the right side. And they should meet right in the middle. So I'm going to have to adjust this one here. It's not perfectly in the middle. And I do the same thing to the left one. Now you unfold the creases that you just made. And you take the right side and you fold the edge to meet the crease that you just folded, this crease right here, this crease right here, you take this right side and you fold it to meet that crease. Then you fold that down. I'm going to go over it with the pencil. It's important to go over the thicker folds when you start getting to the last few steps of this airplane with the pencil, if you go over it with the pencil, because then it's a nice strong fold. Then you fold that in. And I'm going to go over it with the pencil. Like so. Now you do the same thing to the left side. You take it and fold it to the crease that you made. In the middle right here. And then. You fold it. Now I seem to have made a problem here. It go. It's going over the crease I made. So now I have to just refold it. Make sure it's straight. Then you go over it with the pencil. 
and then you fold that. Now you unfold those, or you unfold those two creases that you just made, and then you take this and fold it up. You fold it up so that it, so that right here, it doesn't go over outside of this crease that you made right there. Then you refold these creases that you made on the right and left sides. I'm going to go over them with the pencil again, just in case anything got messed up. Same thing on the right side. Now you take this top part here, and you fold it down over the right and left folds. Go over with the pencil. Now what you do is you take this airplane and you flip it over and then take the bottom side and you fold it up to where it meets the top side. Now a tip with this is sometimes the folds they'll get rigid and it won't fold correctly so then what you do is you take your finger and move it to the center and just kind of press it to where it's it will fold into the middle now you start in the front and move to the back wait hold on let me fix this fold all right there make sure you hold the wings together so that they don't move out of place when you're finishing the fold along the bottom of the plane now i'm going to press hard on this with a pencil just make sure it's a nice strong fold there. I'll make sure it matches up. If it needs to be adjusted, then do that. And now you take this wing and you move and you fold it downward. Fold it down to where it comes it comes off the edge. It come the wing comes off the edge about this much. So you don't want it to come off the edge too much, but just a little bit. Now you flip it over and you do the same thing to the other side. Make sure that the folds match up on the top. Then I'm going to go over it with the pencil. Do the same thing. And there you have it. That this is one of the best paper airplanes in the world. This is the Hammer. Now, if you fly it for the first time and it doesn't seem to fly correctly, then you'll want to just hold it in front of you like this and make sure that it makes a V when you hold it like that. Make sure that it makes a V when you hold it. Now you have one of the best paper airplanes in the world, the Hammer. Have fun.